Hello, this is Paul Milligan at IC Show TV at IC2016. I'm joined today by David Busker, CEO of Infocom. Welcome, David. And Rob Robinson of Stardraw. Welcome. Hey, Paul. Um, David, first question to you. Um, why are we here today? Great question. Thank you very much. Um, this is an exciting and momentous time. Um, many, many people know Infocom as a trade association that sponsors uh, trade shows. Uh, what they uh, don't necessarily focus in is on what we do the other 360 days a year. <laughs> and as an association, we spend a lot of our resources on things like certification, education, training, and what we're going to talk about most today, standard development. We have an entire team of people that are employed by Infocom in a standards in a uh, standards department that is uh, accredited by the uh, ANSI, which is the American National Standards Institute version of ISO. And so it's the American holders of the ISO standard writing body. We use about four or five hundred members as volunteers, um, dedicating themselves with uh, offering their subject matter expertise and their time and their effort to write standards that then focus on elevating the industry. And what we're talking about here today is JST D710, which you have to say five times fast in order to be one of those volunteers, which is a standard focused in on symbology. What's even more exciting about this standard is that not only is it a uh, standard that's been published, but it was published in connection not only with Infocom, but also with partners uh, CEA, now CTA, the uh, Consumer Technology Alliance, and CEDIA. So the three different organizations work together to develop a standard of how you represent the different components of an AV system on a set of design drawings. If you can imagine, if you have 100,000 people creating design drawings in the industry and you choose to draw a speaker with a circle and I choose to draw a loudspeaker with a square, it starts to be very difficult in the d building environment yeah. to read those drawings and know, well, yesterday morning the building I was working on had circles, this year, this morning they're squares. Yeah. And so what we're going to talk about here is an amazing and exciting initiative from Stardraw related to that standard. Sure. And Rob, can you tell me about Stardraw's involvement with symbology, please? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're a software company, and for over 20 years now, we've had design and documentation software specifically written for AV integrators. Yeah. So uh, we have a library of over 92,000 symbols representing manufacturer products. Yeah. Integrators use these and lay out their system designs. So with the JSTD 710 standard, what we've actually done is under license, been able to distribute those standard symbols across all of our users around the world. And we have users in 83 countries worldwide. And we've also applied those standard symbols to over 10,000 of our products where they make sense to be used in plan view drawings or reflected ceiling plan drawings entirely in conformity uh, with that standard so you know it's a great initiative one that's long overdue I'd say and uh, you know now everybody out there in the world can refer to drawings and understand them and there can be no mistakes no misunderstandings so it's actually a really exciting thing yeah sure I mean it's something as a magazine we've been very keen to promote you know as many AV standards as we can so it's really positive to hear that Infocom making great strides in this manner so um, congratulations David well done and well done Rob for taking part no, it's been great fun as well and a real joy to work with you guys fantastic okay really so excited thank about you very it. much thank you okay thank you both for your time okay thanks Paul